Thank you so much. Thank you for your time this morning, Esther and Rafi. This is such a wonderful show and I like how it shines some levity on a very serious situation for a lot of people. Uh, beginning with you, Esther, the average person doesn't really know the complexities of what it's like to go through the process. They think it's just a, you know, apply and you wait for the opportunity. How has participating at, in the project as Nikki informed your own knowledge about the adoption process and what a lot of people experience? Yeah, well, say exactly that, that, um, I had absolutely no idea what the process of adoption entailed. I had no idea how hard it was, how long it was, the heartbreak that ensues with it. I equally thought that it was, you just decide that you want to do it and you go somewhere and you get a child, which is obviously not the case. And it's just made me so aware of that journey and also the responsibility that we have in trying to tell that, uh, that story. Um, uh, truthfully and uh, respecting the people that do have to go through it and yeah um, I think Andy who wrote it has just done a brilliant job of being really gentle with it and and um, and being honest about uh, this story but adding those elements of humour within it because I think uh, the the humour in it comes from comes from a real place and it's um, it's been a real yeah it's been a real joy to be part of. Um, and I've definitely learned a lot about it. It's beautiful. I love the chemistry between the two of you, of you nav as you navigate this process. Rafe, with you, some during the birth process, the father obviously can be included in the quote unquote traditional sense. But in this case, you your character, Jason, has to definitely take a more active role and has a lot more input, I guess you could say, than the 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 traditional method how has this kind of opened your eyes uh on another method of fatherhood that at that men experience who want to to become fathers and go a different alternative route i think that's a very interesting point that you raised that um that i i have three children myself uh and when it came to making those children it was very a very simple act. My contribution was minimal, but um, where where uh, adoption is involved, um, men do play a far more active role in in I suppose um, a form of conceiving a child. But in this in this in this sense, it is through meeting lots of kids. It is through being approved. It is through a lot of meddling in your private life and your personal life. And if you get to the end of that process, which can sometimes go on for two years longer, and you still want to have a kid after that, then wow, more power to you, because um, you need a lot of resolve, a lot of strength. And by the time you've got to the point normally of wanting to adopt, you've been through some pretty difficult stuff. You've probably had the heartbreak of, um, of not being able to have children, not being able to naturally conceive. Now, Infertility is a, is a taboo generally, mm -hmm. um, but men's involvement in infertility is even more of a taboo. Guys don't speak about that. It isn't a thing that is covered. It isn't a thing in the discourse. We don't hear about men who can't have kids. Now in this show, we don't know which one is responsible for that really. Right. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it's a difficult thing and it doesn't get spoken about enough. And I'm really pleased to be bringing that onto the screen even if it's delivered with levity and humor. That levity, levity makes it that much more comforting and just the chemistry and watching you navigate these trials and tribulations because people don't get it perfect. They don't get it right, no matter what <laughs> route you take to parenting. And mm. you both presented in such a, a fun and unique way that I think everyone can, can smile about. Lastly, Esther, during the course of the season, we'll watch your journey, how you're interacting with your friends and, and just a whole bunch of things. How will, when we get to the end of, of the season, how will this process transform Nikki and Jason? I think you see them um, have to struggle with what it means to uh, 
be rejected and be at times and be okay with that. And I think that offers an opportunity for maturity and growth because I think they come to, a, you know, lots of realizations within it. But the main thing for me, I think, in terms of their progression as characters is that they, they have to let things go. And I think it's hard to let something go when you've fallen in love with something, um, which happens during this time um, because they're presented with, you know, various children that they connect with and one in particular. And I think the fall's greater when um, it's, you don't get what you want, what you fall in love with. So um, yeah, and I think they, by accepting that and letting that go um, offers great scope for maturity with them. Um, I think personally, yeah. And and how about you, Ray? How are you transformed? How do you think Jason and Nikki are transformed this season? I think that uh, one of the things that is so relatable about relatable about the show is is that the lead characters are are um, obviously good people. Yeah, they they uh, they want to do the right thing. Now, most people watching will identify with that because most people will identify as a good person. And um, I think what's also identifiable is that, they're, is that, that they're flawed and fallible. Now, we never stop being flawed and fallible as human beings, right? It's, right. Not, it's not the sort of thing that we ever go, right, I've got that, I've got that figured out now. I can, I, I, I'm now a perfect person. So sure, you learn life lessons. Sure, you grow. Sure, you can change. Um, but you still mess up, yeah. You still you still do things wrong. Now that's always going to happen. It's going to happen for these characters, and it's going to happen for all of us as well. Um, so, I look forward to messing up more in real life and on screen. Hey, it makes us better. It always makes exactly. us better. Exactly. <laughs> well, I thank the both of you for your time this morning. You're just lovely, and I love the show. It's so sweet and tender, and I love the alternate point of view of, of parenting and what it's like and some trials that most people will never experience. So I thank you for your performances and the show is lovely. Thank you again. Thank Thanks you for so your much. time. Thank you very Take much. Care.